All right. Today I wanted to show off the work in progress um, of the game Mastermind that I'm trying to replicate with uh, mainly RF tools control using the opcodes. Um, this is the basic structure. That's the code that you're supposed to guess. And then this is my guesses. So if I walk up and I say, you know what, light blue, purple, silver, silver. And even though it looks like they fall out in different orders, they will always, um, it always seems to work. Light blue, magenta, orange. Uh-oh. Light blue, magenta, orange, pink. Yeah, I must have just uh, misspoke there or something. But anyways, the comparison logic doesn't work. Uh, those four colors are this green variable. So 12, 11, 2, and 10 is the actual answer. And then these are my guesses. And what's supposed to happen is every time you get your fourth guess, that observer triggers a redstone pulse. And then it's supposed to clear my guess counter. But right now, that's not set up. And that's the console of the computer back there, just to let me see if there's any errors happening. But if I hit initialize, it clears the game board, and then it clears the code and it generates a new random code. And you'll see the code answer has changed and my guesses are empty. So you walk up. White, white, yellow, lime, pink, gray. So yeah, they fall in different orders at different speeds, but uh, it always seems to get the right code, which is nice. The comparison logic doesn't work. And what's cool too is it's truly random. Like you'll get sometimes two or even three of the same color. Reset doesn't do anything. Got rid of that code. Yeah, just like that, eh? So now you see 11, 15, 13, 13. And here's the colors. 1 to 16 of the, uh, the concrete powder. So I spent a lot of time just trying to get the uh, blocks to fall in the right pattern and to get the layers to happen. And then I did have a tough time with the random code. But by far the, the toughest time I've had is, is comparing them. Because... The game works by uh, purple. See how purple is the right color, but it's in the wrong spot, my guess. I would technically get one white peg, and then that would be it. So then I'd have to say, okay, got a purple in here somewhere, so my next guess might be, you know, purple, and then, uh, you know, yellow, lime, orange, something I've never guessed before. And then in this instance, I would get a red. So a white for this one and a red for this one. And it kind of lets you, you know, figure your way down it. But uh, the comparison logic, I can't think of an, um, an optimal way to do it in the code. So I've just kind of given up. I'll show what I have here. Um, I got block breakers that Blake can't talk. Block breakers that break the, uh, the powder. The observer, these nodes, um, nodes one, two, three, four, either push items up as the code or down as my guess, because that's where the uh, the code is. And then the redstone sends a pulse to break these. The collector collects them, sticks them in this chest. It doesn't matter the order. This chest is the same as that chest down there that also collects the uh, powders. And uh, this is my lookup table. This is a reference, uh, not a reference, a placeholder item, zero. It's ignored, but uh, one, two, all the way to 16. So this actually assigns these blocks a value of one, two, et cetera, et cetera. So if I was to mix these up, it would break the program. Um, and the reason I did that is because RF tools control, I don't think looks at the metadata or the MBT value, whatever it is. So when I was running earlier um, code samples, my program would kept grabbing white because it just said, ah, oh, 
that's the right one. It was ignoring all the different data types. So the way I got around that was, it's probably in the initialized part of the program. Ooh. Oh, that's what it is. So when you hit the initialize button, it sets up, sets up some variables, but it enters this loop and it looks at an item. Yeah, guess up, right? Guess up. So it looks at an item and then it sticks a variable in. I already forget how this works. Man, this is wild. Okay, right here, I left comments. It's been like two weeks and I already forget. So it generates a lookup table. So every time I hit initialize, it will look at these items and it'll give them numbers. And it does some basic clearing the table, doing some resets, um, initializing the breakers to break stuff. That's these redstone signals going on and off. But after it initializes, it, uh, it calls the code command. And the code command, what does it do? Oh, it sets the, um, the random code that you have to guess. And here's the, uh, the random function. Items one through 16 and puts them into a vector and grabs the items and pushes them out into the right slot in the right order. And I could optimize this by not running this command, this uh, logic every time. So every time I push initialize, it refigures out what number everything should be. So this is definitely not optimized. I should only have to ever do it once. But, uh, that's the initialized code. This is the compare code, and this is basically where I gave up a couple of weeks ago. Uh, trying to set variables, push things into a, a vector. Um, I think what I was trying to do was when I, uh, when I make a guess, like here, just these first four numbers, this is supposed to be cleared every time I make a new guess. But right now there's two sets of guesses here. I want to pop an item out of the vector, like the three, and compare it to all these. And that would return no points. Uh, but I, I can't imagine a way of doing that without it being extremely long. And I was trying to keep the program all in one screen here, but I don't know if I have enough space. And I don't know if there's a more optimal way to use vectors. I haven't quite figured out the best way to uh, to do it because Placing the blocks is kind of the easy part. It's doing the comparison. That's tough. And then for picking the actual right color, each one of those buttons on the screen has a vent signal, like white, orange, all the way to black. And so when you push, say, orange, it gives a value of two. And then they all funnel down here. And then it writes two to a variable. And then it adds that variable to a vector. And the vector is stored in you know, memory 24 and then what it does is it goes into this crate and it says what does it do it examines the item so whatever item is coming from that number that was put here it grabs it item last or the last code i'm not explaining that very well but uh but yeah that's what it's doing and I completely forget how this works. That reset doesn't do anything. So yeah. And then these are old versions that have failed. This is definitely the best version I have of the main program for my guesses. The initialize could be optimized, but the uh, comparison part is where I'm struggling. I can't figure out how to efficiently loop through all the different guesses determine which one is a 100% bang on the right spot versus which one's a, oh, that's the right color, but it's in the right slot. And then saying that, once I get the comparison done, you actually have to make the logic to place the pegs. So one day, maybe one day I'll get back to it.